This is Maria, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you quite a few fun activities that work on the development of important preschool skills, such as fine motor skills, uh, sequencing, cutting, counting, and all those things in a fun way that will get your little ones excited. If you clicked on this video and you're wondering what are sequencing fine motor skills and why are those even important for young children, I'll briefly touch upon it. Sequencing is basically understanding that each process has a specific order. It has the beginning, the middle, and the end. What is the end result? All of the things that we do in our everyday life, all of the tasks have a sequence to it. Why is it important? Well, it's important for children in their lives throughout their academic careers in things like reading, uh, understanding the context of the text, also sequencing is important in math, and just being able to accomplish the tasks to follow the directions. Now, fine motor skills, if you're not familiar, is the ability of your children handle the small objects. Why is that important? Especially up until the age of three, your child's um, prefrontal cortex is not fully developed the way it is developed is by using all the five senses, touch, smell, sight, hearing, all of that. Now, the sense of touch is one of the most important ones in that case because we use our fingers a lot as adults. We screw the tops of the bottles, we open the drawers, we use the keys. All of that requires strong muscles in our hands. Young children, through the series of steps and activities, develop those skills. If you're new to my channel, I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old, uh, as I just mentioned, and I focus a lot on the Montessori approach, also play-based activities, ideas for homeschooling, ideas for babysitting. So if that's the kind of content you're looking for, make sure to subscribe to my channel, check my activities playlist, my Montessori playlist, and now let's get to the data. The first activity you will need construction paper. I picked mine in Target, also paper clips, and a few activities that I'll be sharing with you today will have paper clips. Also pipe cleaners, scissors, you can use regular scissors or you can use the craft scissors like I'm using. I'm gonna give the kids the options. Now, the first thing is to let your child pick the color that they want. Then we are making a circle. Uh, the next step for Scarlett is to count out the circle, just to give you an idea. So uh, Justin is going to be doing a sun and he's going to be using bigger paper clips because he's younger and his hands are not as flexible. And Scarlett will be doing flowers and using the smaller paper clips to decorate them. Uh, both my children picked out paper, uh, craft scissors instead of regular ones. Another big part of this process is doing the faces and the reason why you want to do funny faces by the age of three your child should be able to draw uh, little stick figures or uh, people with some kind of like eyes, nose and mouth so that's an important part of the development for them. Now that our funny silly faces are done I'm bringing in my paper clips. Again, baby Justin is going to be handling the bigger ones. This is actually his very first time ever handling those. And I, at first, he needed some uh, props. Scarlett has been working on her fine motor skills for many years. And obviously, she's five years old and her fingers are very flexible and strong. Now, baby Justin, with some help and support, was able to figure it out. And let me tell you, I was surprised how much he enjoyed it. Now, this activity was making a silly face uh, for fine motor skills development I've done in the past with clothespins. And I shared it in one of my videos. So if you don't have uh, paper clips on hand, you can use clothespins that works just as great. I've just already shared this activity. So baby Justin uh, made the sun happy because we say that the sun is crying and he needs to be happy. And then Scarlett made the flowers. This is one of her flowers with the pipe cleaners. As an extension of this activity, we made necklaces from paper clips. This is also a very good way to practice the fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination. And again, you know, the first take for Justin wasn't as easy, but with a little bit of help and practice, he took it on and let me tell you after we were done with this activity for the next 20-25 minutes he was just sitting there perfecting his skills i've noticed with my children overall with any kind of activity that i show them for the first time uh, especially when they're a bit younger when they figure out how to do it then they just go for it and practice it until they perfect the skill This next activity works on fine motor skills and crossing the midline. You will need colored pasta. You can color your own or you can buy it colored. Pipe cleaners, 
tons and I use my bag habitat that I picked up a long time ago at a dollar store. Now, the whole activity is basically uh, a transfer work, which is very popular with young children at the about age of three who still enjoy practical life. The idea for this is to practice the pincer grasp, development of that pincer grasp. Also, when you do set up the certain activities for transfer, make sure you set up your work from left to right so your child is crossing the midline. Crossing the midline is an important skill for young children. It is wiring the two sides of their brain together. Scarlett, in the meanwhile, is doing the pasta necklaces. This is also a fun activity if you have an older child or uh, if your child might be into it even at the younger age, Scarlett always loved them making necklaces. It's basically a new take on the beadwork. I use the pipe cleaners for mine. Here's another look at the transfer work. In one side, I have just soda. I have a funnel and a measuring cup. Baby Justin is using a small spoon transferring. Uh, you'll see he's alternating between his left and right hand, though he's predominantly right-handed, and I want him to use predominantly his right hand. Now, a lot of the children will be just happy with just the transfer work. They probably will spend a lot of time doing that. I've added one of our most favorite things to do is uh, colored water. I usually use just food coloring and we make quite a few different colors. After we color the soda, we add vinegar for fizz up. That's actually one of my kids' most favorite things to do. So I usually incorporate it in many different activities. This next activity works on sequencing, counting, cutting, and a multitude of skills. It does require a bit of prep for you, though you could incorporate your children into cutting out the shapes. So first, what I've done, I've created three uh, triangles on each page, and then I cut out the toppings for the ice cream for the kids. I presented it to them just to give the idea of how it should look like, but then they just kind of took on their process, and each one of the ice cream cones got two toppings. After the toppings were done, so the kids needed to glue all of them, we uh, were cutting them out. Now, gluing process is also important because uh, your child needs to use a proper grasp while they are holding the brush. Uh, when it comes to cutting, make sure your child, child's wrist is stabilized, especially for younger children, if you have like a two and a half year old, three year old. You know, kids that are a little older, make sure they are cutting on the line correctly. Now that everything is cut out, I brought in my stickers that I picked up at Target. Uh, for Justin, I put the number on each one of the ice cream cones and he needed to put uh, appropriate number of sprinkles on top of them. Uh, we just do the numbers five, three, and four, you know, any kind of bigger numbers would be hard to do on those. For Scarlett, I wrote her numbers on the back of the ice cream cones because she did not want to see them. And she was very particular about her ice creams, but you can see here, she had six, seven, and eight. And this is the final result. I've actually, uh, am very excited and happy about how it all turned out. That's going to go into my craft box with kids. And the next activity we did with the same stickers, basically we just, uh, I draw a garden for Scarlett, your child can draw a garden as well, and a snake for Justin because he enjoys doing this. The whole uh, purpose of this activity for Scarlett is just for fun, for Justin to practice again his fine motor skills of pulling those stickers off and using his pincer grasp, also following the line from left to right uh, and putting those stickers on. This last activity is a bonus, I didn't plan to include it, but we had some leftover slime. Uh, we make ours ourselves and add some uh, craft foam beads and then kids start putting farm animals in there. And I thought, what a good idea to give you if you have some leftover. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some good ideas on how to get your kids busy. Now, I am actually partnering with two really cool companies for the upcoming videos. One of them is Archive. It's how the way that you can store all of your child's arts and crafts and projects. I'm really, really excited about that one. And I'm also partnering with the Curiosity Box. So it's kind of like the subscription boxes. So that's always coming to my channel. And again, if you're looking for mommy context, such as routines, I like to share the inspiration on how we live our screen-free lifestyle in my day in the lives. And also just like all kinds of mom stuff, subscribe to my channel and I will see you later.